keep traveling steadily along God's pathway, and in due season, he will honor you with every blessing. Everybody needs some company. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taja B. And today's video is placed in my heart this morning when I read my devotion, especially in the world that we live in today. We need to know about what's God's plan versus your plans. So first, I've been reading Word of the Day, which is my favorite um, devotion. I'm almost finished, but I have another one for me. And we're doing a devotion for February the 26th. And it's called Be Patient, God is at Work. So basically, it's saying when things don't happen as quickly as we want them to, we become anxious, frustrated, irritable, and negative. And if you're making it happen, person, you can rush the head of God and get into trouble. The steps of good men are directed by the Lord. He delights in each step that takes. Think about it. And that's actually Psalm 37, verse 23. If y'all have your Bibles, if you don't, you know, you can always go on a Bible app and actually look at the word. Um, Psalms is one of my favorite um, chapters. Um, so think about it. If you follow the Lord, you can't go faster than the one who is leading. So just take the next step and trust him to work things out for you. And another thing it says, do not be impatient for the Lord to act. Keep traveling steady along his path and in due season, he will honor you with every blessings, which is still Psalms 37. Actually, read the whole chapter. And it also said, impatient is a sign of two things. Immaturity, babies cry until you pick them up, and children don't want to wait for anything. But a wise parent knows that often the child is not ready to handle what they are demanding. Two, Doubt and unbelief. You need to keep on patiently doing God's will if you want him to do for you all that he has promised. And that scripture right there is Hebrew 10, um, verse 36. So I actually, um, y'all go read 37. I was going to do that, but now I'm just going to talk to y'all about your plan and versus God's plan. So I'll tell you what my plan was. Um, two years ago, I thought I was, I seen myself and I know I wanted to do makeup. And I started out trying to make makeup, but that didn't work out. Um, I remember I, I did skincare. And me looking on Instagram, looking on TikTok with girls that had the similar ideas that I had and became multimillionaires, right? A good one was uh, Para Moon. Um, she was a millionaire in eight seconds. And I remember I had that creativity, like I wanted to help with skincare. I, I'm dark skin. I have dry skin. So I wanted, so I started researching and looking up what type of skincare, you know, line. And I, at first I thought I needed to go to a, a chemistress and I'm like, how can I afford that? But I didn't. I actually, a lot of stuff was homemade. I said, oh, wow. So let me do that. So I had hopes. I started, you know, my time with God. Um, at that time of me trying to get everything out with my life, I said I was going to be a multi-millionaire before I'm 30. Everything I thought that I was like, okay, this is the right path that I need to lead to. Not asking God first. I asked God after the fact that I'm doing it. And I started putting my money and my ideas together and already somewhat making a product. And I'm asking, instead of me asking God from the beginning and letting him lead me to the right direction, um, it basically failed. So I was like, okay, God, I got another example. Let me do makeup. I've been wanting makeup for the longest. Like, I know how to do this. I know how to go and look at makeup lines and pay for them to, you know, ship. I have so many creativities. I mean, creativities when it comes to makeup. 
you know, let me do that. I know how to do that. Oh, I'll be on Instagram and, and you know, TikTok doing makeup because that's my biggest thing. Started my makeup line, didn't ask God first. I just had the idea. I didn't pray about it. I didn't let him, I didn't hear God. I didn't do no fasting. I didn't do anything. I just was like, let me do this. And I asked God later, like, God, just sit me in the right path. Just put me in the right path. Y'all, I'm still here. Don't know where my career is going. Don't know where I'm doing in life. But I am now hearing God. And I'm letting God just leave. Like, I don't even have plans. I just know God put in my heart to take care of my family. God put in my heart for me to not live paycheck to paycheck. God put in my heart that I want to work for myself. Either it's in skincare, makeup, or just YouTube. I don't know what God wants me to do. But I've been running with God for several years now. I've been running away from God. Because I know God has a bigger plan for me. But I just don't know what. I always decided to have my own business since I was a child. He put that in my heart. From the beginning, I went to the medical field. So I don't know what God. But all I'm here to tell you is, it's not your plan. It is God's plan. And you're going to be impatient. You're going to be discouraged. We live in a society today where we have a microwavable success. Nobody teach you the days that it's going to be zero uh, zero when it comes to your shopping or when you get your, you know, your new business because all they tell you it is to just, oh, get a business and get your LLC, do this and that. But they don't tell you like what it takes. It takes consistency. It's going to be days that you're not going to sell. It's going to be days, probably until you get your first sale. It's probably be months. It's probably going to be years until you get your first sale. But we're looking at people um, who did it just like that. And they really didn't teach you how long they've been doing. Even like YouTube, it takes a while to get um, to 500 followers. It, get, it takes a while. You know, it's just up to you. You have to be consistent. And also, I feel like you have to have the passion. And God has to place that in your heart for you to like have the desire to do what you want to do. All these quick schemes, these quick like um, money making, sometimes it does fail. I think majority of the time it fails because if you're money hungry, those businesses is not going to succeed. You have to do something that you love to do. Not quick, oh, how you make money on Google, side hustles and all that. And all that is fine. I'm not telling that nobody that cannot do it. If you're money hungry, but at the end of the day, some things are not forever. Some things are not forever. And once upon a time, and I know that this is going to happen in the future, it's going to be time where these little quick get rich schemes are not going to be available anymore. And I know that's coming. So you can still do those and you can still make an income for yourself, but put God first. And don't worry about your plan. It's all about God's plan, God's holy plan. And right now I am dealing with that. And I'm dealing with stuff and I'm dealing with, I'm, trust me, I'm doing like quick rich schemes and I, I want to, you know, make that money. But for what? What I'm going to do for it? Like now I know when I do make it, what it's going to go for. It's going to go to my family. It's going to go to me getting out of um into my own place. It's going to finance me to be bigger and have employees. I know that that's what God has planned in me because he wouldn't have that in my heart for a long time if that wasn't not going to pass. But the path of getting there is all on him. So y'all, it might, you never know what my life going to be. You know, maybe it's not makeup. Maybe it's not skincare. I don't know. But all I know is I'm letting God lead me. And by me reading my Bible every day, by me reading my devotion every day, I understand it now. And it's all in God's plan. I'm not in a rush. I want things to be good because when God bless you, he's going to bless you in a perfect way while everybody else is going to be tumbling around around you everybody else they things gonna get failed so you be discouraged while you're looking at people jumping out of g-wagons of course it's discouraging me that's my dream car but one day i'm gonna have it 
if it's in God's will, if you want me to have it. That's all I can say. So, y'all, I just want to say thank y'all. Can y'all just give this video a thumbs up? If you have not subscribed to my channel, what are y'all doing? I'm going to be patient, but I'm on a road of 500 subscribers. I know I can do it to myself, and that's my dog. And I just want to say thank y'all for watching, and have a good one. Fantasy, me have come by,